It's a clear afternoon, not a cloud in the sky. With the hot days of summer finally here, Thetis Lake is packed. Whether it's for some tanning or some swimming, islanders are enjoying the cool water and breeze. That's what we like to hear. But while many are here to enjoy an afternoon of lounging, another group is here to get ready for a big challenge. I was diagnosed uh, about 20 years ago and I went blind in my left eye and soon after that had an MRI and they found some lesions on my brain and that's what led to the diagnosis. Susan Simmons was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Uh, I was actually kind of relieved because I knew the, blind was, the blindness would go away and when you don't know what you have, I think that's probably more frightening than anything else. She didn't learn to cope with it. She says she became a victim of the disease and thought she couldn't do anything. I was also told not to do anything to trigger my MS, don't exercise, don't stress yourself out. So I kind of secluded myself and worked from home for several years, but then I became quite ill as the d disease progressed and thought, well, this isn't working very well, let me try something else, and I started swimming. She swam when she was younger, so this is familiar to her. There were other changes she had to make to stabilize herself, including changing her diet and challenging herself with swimming in open water. Susan has crossed the Georgia Strait and the 10 kilometers from West Vancouver to Kitsilano Beach. Beach, and along the way I swam beside a whale, which, again, I never thought I would do anything like that. It was quite fun. And now she'll be doing her longest swim across Lake Cowichan. 34 grueling kilometers. To put that into perspective, one kilometer equals 40 laps in the pool, not to mention swimming outside with the elements. But she's not doing it alone. Alex Cape will be accompanying her along the way with many others cheering them on. And I wasn't really sure at first, but it's just the, the personal challenge. Um, part of it's to support Susan. Um, but part of it's just for myself. She's a paramedic, part of the Army, as well as very active. So Alex says she thinks she might be ready. I have no idea. I think so. I'm, I think I'm as ready as I can be, but I really don't know. It's a big question mark right now. The swim happens this Saturday and will be Susan's biggest test yet. She says she won't let her disease dictate what she can and can't do, including a 34-kilometer swim. If you'd like to help her out or cheer her on, visit her website. At Thetis Lake, I'm Shetta Singh.